Life Orgbald project confirmed what was well known before. Organic soil is a substantial source of greenhouse gas emissions, making it one of the climate change mitigation key aspects in agriculture and forest management in temperate and boreal regions. The project has enhanced our understanding of the biological processes and potential climate change mitigation measures in these complex ecosystems. Filling the knowledge gaps has been one of the primary roles of the Life Orgbelt project throughout the whole implementation period, from the development of regionally harmonized scientifically sound greenhouse gas and environmental data collection methodology, to the elaboration of parcel and country-level tools for climate change mitigation measures impact analysis. Some of the project's achievements derive from the initially set goals, and those include improved greenhouse gas inventory, developed organic soil area maps, cost-effective climate change mitigation measures identified and demonstrated, and tools for impact assessment of climate change mitigation measures developed. Which is the greatest achievement of the project? Among the project's greatest achievements, we would like to emphasize the calculation of regionally specific greenhouse gas emission factors based on in-situ measurements in all three Baltic states. Uh, this is indeed the result which is much awaited by the greenhouse gas inventory people and also national ministries responsible for climate change policy planning in agriculture and forestry. The research done by Life Orgbalt experts during the past five years has brought a collection of immense data amount, about 2,000 sampling campaigns and a considerable number of scientific articles on drained, nutrient-rich organic soil characteristics and emissions. It is not only about the amount of data, but also about regionally harmonized field protocols and methodology for greenhouse gas monitoring, biomass-related measurements, quantifying annual production, carbon inputs with dead biomass and carbon loss rates, characterization of soil microbial communities, soil screening with infrared spectroscopy, and soil and water analysis. It is worth noticing that such a harmonized methodology didn't exist before the life orgbalt. The project's research group included scientists with diverse experience, thus providing the best knowledge available in the region, as well as allowing the buildup of further research capacity. The project has positively impacted the broader scientific community by bringing together Baltic and Finnish research teams in the field, providing a playground for research collaboration and sharing of experiences, as well as building up skills to communicate the research results in a well-understandable way to a wide audience of stakeholders, including policymakers. The part from our actual research outcomes like scientific publications we have achieved a lot more together much of which is invisible to the broader audience and it deals with uh, developing good practices in science harmonizing methodologies um, networking and collaborating in a, in a big international project all of which are really important skills for young researchers. In the beginning, we put a lot of effort into harmonizing our methodologies because measuring greenhouse gas emissions and soil carbon balance is not an easy task. And by harmonizing uh, and together with the, the fact that we were able to measure a lot of sites during the same time period, we were able to achieve really coherent data. And then now at the later stage of the project, we have put a lot of effort into mentoring the young scientists on scientific writing, which is a skill that no one is born with. And I think that these um, silent knowledge skills that we have, we have uh, fostered in the project will build a really good basis for the young scientists to build their future career on. In addition to a valuable contribution to the research field, the project has developed important tools to provide landowners and institutions with a socio-economic analysis of the implemented measures. A collaborative approach has been chosen in developing the model, bringing together a diverse array of stakeholders who helped providing input and useful feedback during the testing phase. 
The models provide an overall assessment of the socio-economic implications of the climate change mitigation measures implemented in the project. Great importance has been given to the model's presentation and to training activities to provide stakeholders with guidelines and insights on how to benefit from them. Although both models are based on data relating to potential implementation of climate change mitigation measures, their target audiences differ. While simulation models serves as a tool for policy planning and decision-making at regional and national level, the PBC model provides site-specific calculations and its main target audience is landowners. The PPC model serves as a tool for a wide range of stakeholders for calculation of financial and socio-economic impact. That enables more transparent dialogue among stakeholders to attract the public support if that's needed and where it's necessary the most. Additionally, the socio-economic analysis provides useful insights for private landowners to make justified decisions on preferred land management in the future. Climate change mitigation measures have been implemented in 16 demo sites located in Latvia and Finland, but the project's activities and results lie on the expertise and involvements of all partners and on a strong teamwork led by researchers from all partner countries. What have partners gained from the project activities and results? Although a single project cannot save the world, we are confident that the life or world outcomes make us better scientists and supports legal and even individual decision makers in their commitments. We gather data together and in the same way across all the Baltic states in Finland, that's a big wow. This data plus the calculated more precise emission factors ending up in modeling and simulation tools are used by and for policy and even individual decision makers here, but not only in Estonia. And what brings the future? Well, the project is not yet done, and we are glad that we found highly valuable and trusted partners to initiate upcoming mutual projects in Northern Europe and beyond. Through rigorous research and data analysis, Life Orgbalt gave valuable insights into the effectiveness of various mitigation strategies, providing policymakers with evidence-based guidance to inform their decision-making processes. At the moment, Policymakers are faced with the complex task of implementing climate change mitigation measures in various policy areas. It is especially challenging in the land use sector as emissions fluctuate and are harder to predict. The pressure on land is increasing and food security should be the priority while developing knowledge and science-based land use policy. Therefore, accurate and regionally specific draft emission factors will enhance the precision of greenhouse gas inventories and facilitate the formulation of targeted policy interventions. Both models created within the project show a great overview of climate change mitigation potential on an individual level as well as broader regional level. These are great tools for individuals and policymakers to help make informed decisions for land management. The Life Work Bald project results should help policymakers make better decisions regarding organic soil management and accounting. The EU member states are currently working on updating their national energy and climate plans, and we see that the climate change mitigation measures should be incorporated in these plans. When it comes to including new organic soil emission factors in national greenhouse gas emission reports, we believe that each involved country should decide whether it is reasonable to change its national emission factors based on a single study. Perhaps we should think about using common regional emission factors so that countries of our region could develop similar land use policies. There is still a way to go to fully grasp each aspect of climate change in the land use sector. But each study brings us closer to better soil management, knowledge base and climate policy.